guys, it's Petunia Cow, and we are back over in Minecraft on Glacial Awakening. And yeah, I've been busy, so uh, let's uh, turn around and see what we can do. <laughs> let's see. So um, I got everything, well, I don't know if it's everything, but I got most of the stuff uh, built back up. So we've got, um, I only have one tank right now, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't do that. So I uh, went ahead and got the garden cloches here and I have uh, pipes going in um, under the ground and then up to uh, put the stuff in. I've I've been having some weird power issues and I have to I have to like reset the power. I have to break the connector and then put it back for it to work sometimes. This I'm gonna have to do something with because uh, it stopped because there's not, uh, enough for this to go in this barrel unless um, it was acting where I could actually put still put stuff in this drawer yeah so for some reason um, oh wait 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 I don't have it yeah I do I have it set underneath so I wonder it was coming in so I'm gonna just check real quick we're gonna have to break that uh, no, it's on extract. That's not what I want. That's why it's not working. I thought I had that fixed, but okay. Uh, let's go ahead and break. Not break, but put this back. <laughs> so I have a lot of the pipes. I can't put it back, can I? There we go. Okay. <laughs> so I have a lot of the pipes going underneath the floor. I don't think I have any stone on me. Let's just do that for now. Okay, we got that, and that is going into our refinery, which, unfortunately, I guess once you get the liquid in, you can't get it back out, because I, I tried to set this up where it, it could, I could, like, momentarily extract that and put it in here, and it wouldn't work. So, I just uh, put this here, and then I'm just going to use a fluid, a pressurized fluid conduit, and do that. That way, we can do this. And I'll just have it insert and then uh, extract always active. There we go. And then I'll keep that on insert and extract. That way we just have to change this and we can move it. We can put it back in there. And uh, yeah, that'll work. And I'm going to take this off just because it's not working. So I'm not going to keep it there. But I want to do that because I want to get this stuff to make a water wheel. Um, because we are going to need at least that. I'm, I'm thinking more, but go ahead and shift click this stuff in. And then what I want to make are the water wheel segments. But let me check because I want to make three of these. So I need four, um, times. So, so I need 12, uh, 12, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't have any sticks. I forgot sticks. Um, and I have no clue what to use to run this. Uh, I was watching somebody's video. Um, I can't remember whose it was. But they made it. I think it was the Mischief of Mice. Uh, they made a diesel generator. So I'm thinking maybe we need to do that. Um, but I don't know. Let me know, guys, what you think about... Um, what the best way to power this is because I think if I stick with <clears throat> with just what I have like the thermo pile and thermoelectric and all that it, I don't think it's going to be enough to run this machine <laughs> but um and then I was thinking of just putting the diesel generator here and uh kind of doing away with this area back here because it's not really for anything so yeah and plus the power is back here and I don't know if you have to have all three of these powered, but that's that's what the those are for. So I I think we just need to do something different with for the power. And I'm thinking the diesel generator is probably the way to go. So then we can use the stuff we're coming up with here um, to to use that. I don't know why this is still two thousand. Oh, because I haven't I haven't added the other stuff back there. But it's okay. And I also put connectors along the ceiling because this was too far for this uh, refinery to get powered. So I know it doesn't look the greatest, um, but, you know, that's what we got so far. <laughs> I guess, I don't know, there's probably a better way, but oh well. 
I okay, haven't. So what were we doing? And for some reason, these these waypoints just come on all by themselves. But I did notice something. You guys were probably yelling at me about it. So I can just click on this up here, and it'll turn them all on or off. So that is definitely helpful. I did not know that. So every time that does that, I just come over and click them all off again. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys are having that same issue because that is driving me crazy. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and click here. So let's click on the water wheel segments and... Um, yeah, that's what I was doing. I need sticks. <laughs> see, I get sidetracked and then I forget what I was doing. All right, so let's see. Do we have any sticks in here? Oh, uh, yeah, we got sticks right here. For some reason, I thought these were, were the treated wood things. Am I imagining things? I thought that was treated wood, but oh well. So here we go. We can take that and we'll make that. That will get us one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let's see if we have enough for this. Oh, yeah, we got enough, uh, enough of the plant oil, I think. Oh, we put that in the wrong place. There we go. And then we got another one. And there we go. I wonder why, uh, let me see, if I do this, because I'm not shift clicking, that's why, and then that, there we go. So we need four of those, four, um, oh, did we run out of actual logs? All right, that's fine, we'll go ahead, I don't know why that went blank again. Uh, let's go up here, and I wanted to show you guys something that... Uh, I don't think it was Mischief of Mice that I found this from, but, um, it may have been Dadcraft76, I don't remember. It, it was somebody. <laughs> but you can make a cardboard box, which is really easy. It is just, um, let's see if I can go to recipe. It's just the sawdust, and you can make it with just using the rock grinder and a, a, a piece of wood. And it just is a is a way to move your stuff so I can, uh, I don't know, maybe I can't do it on this one. Oh gosh. Okay, maybe I can't do it. Can I not do it on these? Let's see. Okay, so I have to do it on this one. So you can just put it on there and break it and then put it wherever you want it to go. And then you can reuse the cardboard box. Um, there may be, I don't see a durability on it, so I'm not sure about that but we can like put it down here and then if you shift right click you take it off and then you can use it again isn't that super cool i love it so uh i'm so glad i i figured that out because i wanted to move these but i had no clue i know there are some packs that have like the the tape some kind of tape see you can't use it for these drawers apparently because it will not, it will not go on here. Well, that stinks. But I can at least um, move the bonsais down, and then I'll just make, you know, more drawers for those. But that is super cool. I wanted to sh share that. So I don't know how much work we're actually gonna get done. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting where I, what I was um, doing. Let's see. Shift oh God, click. And that is four, five, six, seven, eight, and, uh, what am I doing? Uh, one, two, three, four. uh, I knew I was going to run out of something. What did I run out of? Oh, was it just all the stuff? Okay. So let's go ahead and get out of that. Okay. So we're back. <laughs> I think, um, <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to the game. It just decided it didn't want to work anymore. Um, so, thankfully, it did save everything. I was super worried because I've been working on this for a while. So, let's go back. Uh, we do have logs here. So, let's see. I want to look at this. So, we need four per uh, water wheel. So, let's see. We need four... So we need 12. How many do we have? 
We have four. Okay. I thought for sure we made more, but um, let me get that. Um, let's see. I'm going to go over here. Let's not have that in our hand because who knows what that's going to do. Um, we'll go ahead. Oh, I didn't want to put the Coke brick up. Oh, well. It's fine. Uh, we'll leave these in our hands. Um, I need to get that power situation set up. We'll do that when we do the water wheel. So we should have... Oh, we need the artisan's uh, stuff, the okay, tools. Let's do so. at artisan. <clears throat> All right, I'm thinking we could probably do diamond. If we just do a diamond handsaw. Nope, stop it. I'm going to actually go ahead and bookmark these because you'll just do that first. Uh, knife and that. Okay. Just in case when we go to make it, it zeroes out. Yeah. I think there's a setting we can change for that. I don't think it has to do that. And then, uh, we got this one. I got, well, I got a, um, silver one, uh, iron one. I don't know why I keep trying to call silver iron or iron silver. It's really weird. Um, let's go ahead. I'll just make a diamond one since we got it. And there we go. And I think we have, I should have more planks here unless I took them all out. Uh, no, we got some here. Not a ton, but we got plenty of wood. We can make more if we have to. We shouldn't need it. I think, I think we have enough. Go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. So let's go in here. And I will uh, click these in. Oh, no. Now it has stuff. Okay. That must have been my game. Okay. We, we may be able to make a little bit more with this. Let's see. So we need one, two, three, four. Makes another one. And then... One, two, three. Really? <laughs> now the tools. Okay. So let's put this and that in. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. There we go. And can we put one in here? Like, just to hold? No. Put it down here. There we go. That's fine. We'll do that. <laughs> We'll do that for now. I need to eat something, though. Let's go ahead and get something to eat. <laughs> you guys, I'm sure you guys have been yelling at me to eat food. Uh, we'll just take this. Why not? Not that. <laughs> the, the melon. Come on. Jeez. All right. And then I don't think I need this, but I'll keep it up in the corner just in case. And let's see. We need the water wheel. And for that, we need some steel in the middle. Uh, that is just steel, right? Okay. So we should be able to make that. That one. All right. So we got that. Do. So is I think I decided I want to put the water wheel in the wall over here. Okay. So first, I think I'm going to place the actual water wheel. So let's do that. And we want it... Probably, oh, I don't, I think we're still going to have to cut out some stuff. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I think we definitely want it to go, I guess that's okay. We definitely want some at the top, I think. Probably like that. And I'm going to so see there. if we can do this without making water go everywhere. Um... Let's do that. Okay. So we got this. Is that... Well, I'll, I'll go down and make sure it's not everywhere. It'll be fine. We can fix it. Let's do this one and that one. Okay. So we got... That water. And... That water. Something okay, there it goes. 
Uh, it's kind of going the wrong way. I wanted it to go... I mean, I don't know. I guess that's fine. <laughs> but there's one other thing I need for a water wheel to work. And that is a kinetic dynamo. And let's see how difficult that is going to be to make. Oh, not hard at all. We probably need... Let me go ahead and bookmark that. We probably need the copper block, I would think. Yep. So for that, we need... We need the thing. Okay. <laughs> we need uh, LV wire coils, which I don't know how many of those we can make. Okay. I wonder if that's going to be enough. So that we need, is that five? Five and five, so we need 10 of those. And five iron, oh, we can do that. I think we need some more of these though. Or no, we got 16, right? Yeah, okay, that'll be fine. So uh, what else, we need iron. Okay, we need some iron and that should be, oh, wait a minute, what liquid do we need for this? Please be the liquid we have in there. <laughs> um, let's see. This. Yes. Okay. Although I don't know if we have enough, but it will be fine. So now we need iron. Iron. There we go. All right. So I, I inadvertently made a squid farm, apparently. So if we need squids, we'll know where to go. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can do this. And then we'll try to get this all set up next time. But I wanted to try to get it done. Uh, at least this part done on camera. So we got this. Gives us a copper coil block. Awesome. I wish we could just make it all in one thing. I mean, that would, would that be too easy or what? They're like, no, you can't do that. That is way too easy. All right, so there we go. And then I don't really want to make LV stuff. I think what I want to do is make MV stuff. So we do have an MV wire coil. And let's see, we have a wire connector. And how much is this? And how much of it do we actually have? Okay, we just need the bottom middle. Which should be easy enough. So this is like the, kind of like the basic capacitor of this, um, of this mod at least. So there we go. So let's see if we can at least get one of these set up and see how it goes. Oops, nope, come on. Stop getting turned around. <laughs> Is there a way I can not have it uh, give us squids? I can't even get, I can't even get there to, anyways. It's fine. <laughs> we'll leave him swimming around, I guess. So we got the uh, kinetic dynamo, which I'm hoping we can just, Set it that way. Oh, this is way too close. Okay, I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to move the water wheel. <laughs> okay, so I messed around a bit with this, and I just wanted to show you guys a bit of an update. So what we need to do is you need to have this blank part of the uh, kinetic dynamo facing out. So before you put all of these water wheels in, make sure you... Uh, what I did is just um, went on this side and made my way up here and just put some blocks facing the other way so I could have something to uh, put that against. So we got that straightened out. So that's Okay guys, so I finally got it going a little bit. So um, I think one of the main issues I was having is uh, once you get this kinetic dynamo set up, if you change anything uh, about the water wheels, like their placement or whatever, um, you have to come back and replace the kinetic dynamo. So I got it set up. I only have the water going up at the top, uh, and I know I need to eat, but let's go ahead and I'll show you that. <clears throat> so I've knocked off a bunch of stuff around here just to 
try to get this set up. But um, what we have for now is just we have this water going over. And um, I think we can put one on the bottom as well. Because uh, it was going a lot faster than this. So I just wanted to show you guys the basic setup of it. And uh, we've got it taken care of for now. Um, what I think we could, we probably would need to do is put water going this way, but, uh, I would probably have to take the wheels out and do everything over again for that. So for now, that's what we're going to deal with. So uh, we got power going into here. It's not the greatest amount of power. Um, but like I said, there should be a way to add some more water blocks around here. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we got that going. Let's go ahead and get something to eat here. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to get done with the episode without showing you guys the at least working um, water wheel. It's not, like I said, not the best uh, output, but it, it's going okay, I think. So let's go ahead and um, I could have sworn I just put my fish in the sand. But maybe I was imagining things. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's what we've got going for now. So uh, we'll have to get power. See, I kind of don't like that the power's over here instead of in the middle. <laughs> that's kind of annoying, but oh well. Um, but what I was planning on doing was using the water wheel power for, all, for these machines. And um, so we'll just have to connect stuff up. If we use these um, MV wire cables, we're going to have to make it where um, it's not obstructed because if it gets obstructed by anything, it doesn't work. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, definitely hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel or haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you have any um, suggestions or tips or anything like that, don't forget to leave those down in the comment section. I love seeing those, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Uh, of course, this does not look good, but uh, at least it works. So that's what I was trying for. But, um, but yeah, so until next time, I want to thank you so much for watching. And again, I do stream every Sunday Monday and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you guys want to come hang out for that, uh, it's always a lot of fun. And yeah, so until next time, I hope you guys have a super blessed night or day wherever you are. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you are liking the videos. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.